In this uh, dynamic polymorphism soft series, in part one, I will talk about virtual functions and polymorphic objects. Virtual function is a member function of a class which uh, a derived class can overwrite. It allows an object to behave as a polymorphic object. Polymorphic object is an object which can take or can assume different forms, exhibiting different behaviors. Let us learn more about this uh, uh, virtual function and uh, polymorphic objects through coding. In this code, I have an animal class with a name attribute pointer. It has a constructor and a destructor. Very simple class. And I have a dog uh, drive class from animal. Uh, it doesn't have a data members, but it has a constructor which uh, receives a name and it forwards that into the, uh, the base class constructor. Uh, empty destructor and I have another drive class called cat uh, derived from animal it has again the constructor the which receives the name which is forwarded to the base class constructor so it has the destructor now animal we can call this uh, this uh, collection of class as a hierarchy where animal is at the top um, as a best class and dog is um, I mean below animal and cat is on the side of animal you can call dog and cat as a sim sibling classes of uh, this animal class if you call animal as a parent class then you can call dog and cat as sibling because both are actually uh, derived from animal class now this is a hierarchy and uh, in, when this in this hierarchy animal is uh, the identity this uh, topmost class, the cl class that um, rests on the top in the hierarchy, is uh, gives the identity to the entire hierarchy. Therefore, animal you can consider this animal as a type of uh, the entire hierarchy, which means uh, if you have a a, a, um, a a pointer or reference of animal type, then you can make that uh, pointer point to an object of animal class. You can make that pointer point to object of dog class. And also, you can make that pointer point to uh, object of cat class. So let us have a pointer, animal pointer. Call it uh, aptr. And what uh, I want to do is, uh, you can make uh, this uh, pointer point to animal class. Uh, if you look into the constructor, animal uh, constructor receives a name. So let me pass uh, the name. Let's say, suppose this is uh, the name of the animal. And uh, next time you can use the uh, same PTR to point to uh, doc class object. And also the doc class constructor receives uh, the name. So we can pass the name uh, let me call it uh, Tommy and uh, you can use the same pointer to point to uh, the object of uh, cat class and let me call uh, the name of the cat Shushi Shushi cat so now these are three objects this is a pointer and these are objects associated with the pointer the, uh, when you look together this pointer and object this together come by, they represent uh, actually um, a d a object a dynamic object something called so at this point um, also this pointer and this object together they uh, create a dynamic object at this point uh, we have pointer but we have another object still it it actually uh, creates a dynamic object and also here also we have a dynamic object but uh, they are not the same dynamic object they are different so uh, when uh, this uh, dynamic object is actually associated with animal type object like this um, in that case and um, we are actually interested in uh, I mean, observing how 
uh, will this dynamic object behave when it is associated with animal um, animal type object and wh how would this object behave when it, it is associated with a dog object and how will uh, this object behave when it, it is associated with this cat object so for that we need to define the behavior from the constructor you cannot define behavior so to define the behavior we let us have a function uh, called let's say uh, sound right uh, for the animal uh, there is no specific specific sound so uh, we can call let's say std c out uh, this this is uh, this should be a query function const so animal uh, you write the name after that uh, makes a sound this is uh, the sound function with the animal and uh, I can have the says I mean the function with the same signature in the drive class but in the case of cat um, I would um, uh, display a different message the message would be sorry this is dog right so message for the dog class would be dog name growls we want to be a little bit more specific about how the animal was, was sound for the animal class we don't know because animal can be anything right but uh, in the case of dog we know this do dog actually growls so we want to be more specific or we want to actually uh, design this uh, function to be more specific to the nature of the the object of this class And for the cat, cat name uh, meows. Okay, so if you look into this, uh, I think there is one problem because the name is. Um, the private member of the base class so this is not accessible so probably we want to create a protected um, getter function it will return as a, as a constant character pointer get name this is still query return name so this function uh, we can call this function from the drive class get name and also from the cat class so now uh, this uh, I hope there is no problem with this code but um, one thing we I, I like to emphasize here is that in the base class we have the sound function in the in the in the uh, drive class we have a sound function uh, in in the in the dog class we have sound function but uh, I mean even in the cl cat class we have sound function but they are actually implemented different differently that means uh, their behavior behavior of the of the sound function associated with cat dog and animal class are different right if they display different information or if they perform different computation then the behavior is different even the name is a sound function but uh, behavior uh, is becomes different so now in this case if I let's say uh, call that function through this pointer now at this point uh, we have annual class um, uh, we expect this to to call animal version of uh, of uh, sound function right uh, here also here we expect it to call the uh, dog version of the sound function and uh, here we expect uh, the cat version of the sound function now 
uh, there's one one thing I actually uh, want to bring your attention. If you allocate memory and then just um, use same pointer, allocate new memory, then the previous memory is actually not released. So that results in the memory leak problem. So before you reallocate, you have to make sure that you delete that uh, pointer. This is not array, so this is a syntax for uh, deleting. And also here. And finally, at this point, now let me go ahead. Um, I think uh, we expect uh, this uh, this invocation to call um, this function and display animal Jackson makes a sound. We expect uh, this fun this invocation to call uh, this function and uh, display dog Tommy growls. And uh, we expect uh, this invocation to call this function and uh, display cat sushi mios. So let us see the output of this code uh, to the terminal. Compilation linking. So there is a semicolon missing at the end of class definition. So we have to go back to the code and try to fix that problem here. Semicolon missing, semicolon missing. Yeah. So again to the terminal. And another issue is uh, this dog doesn't have matching function. So let me go back uh, to the constructor of the dog class. So dog, so constant, it should be character, constant character. Okay, let me try again. So now working execute now the output we see is animal jackson makes a sound animal tommy makes a sound animal sushi makes a sound from this output it looks like it is not uh, actually invoking the function that we want to call it is only calling the base class version animal class version of the uh, function i'm um, for the sound function so uh, let me go to the code and uh, clarify it more so all these uh, invocations, this uh, function calls are actually ca calling, they are taking this name Jackson, Tommy, Sushi, but they are actually calling this base class version, this function. They are not calling um, this function or this function, right? So that means they are not behaving differently. This sound function is uh, not behaving differently. It is behaving in the same way. Only difference in the output is uh, the name. That is not uh, different behavior. Right. So, if you want uh, this function to different be, uh, behave differently, that means uh, I mean invoke the different functions, then the thing, uh, the solution to this um, issue is uh, that I t I told in the beginning of this recording, virtual function. So, if you want uh, this sound function uh, to behave differently. Uh, based on the this dynamic object, the type of the dynamic object, then you must make that function a virtual function, right? So the way of uh, making virtual function is just the put the keyword virtual in the front, like this. It will make this function virtual, and uh, uh, it's not necessary you put virtual keyword in uh, the the over overrided version of this function in the base uh, in the drive classes but you can for the readability purpose you can put virtual that is uh, not a problem but uh, this is not necessary but you cannot uh, have virtual function in the drive class and um, expect the base class version function to be virtual that doesn't work you we must have virtual function on the topmost class uh, uh, definition after that uh, that is optional for other classes now uh, let us uh, see the output. Only change I made here um, from the, I mean, after I actually tried to see the output, 
is uh, I included this virtual function here to make this function as a virtual function. Uh, going back to the terminal, compile again and execute. So now you can see uh, the animal object, uh, this is the outcome of the uh, invocation of the animal version of the sound function. Uh, this is the outcome of the invocation of the dog class version of the sound function and this is the outcome of the inv uh, invocation of the cat class version of the sound function. Now this output actually shows that uh, the invocation of the sound function is behaving differently, right? that is different behavior. This is also called a polymorphic behavior. Right. So, so uh, you need a virtual function for uh, a pointer or it is a, a class to, I mean the class member function to behave differently or you need a, a function to be virtual to for uh, the realization of uh, polymorphism or polymorphic behavior of uh, the objects that is uh, the message. So, uh, virtual function we talked today here and also uh, polymorphic objects. And another thing is, um, I mean, uh, it's also possible that you can pass this uh, um, this object, for example, um, you can have a void friend function. And instead of having this uh, sound function in invocation here, we can uh, make this function receive, uh, let's say, constant uh, uh, animal pointer aptr and then you call a sound function from there or this is reference uh, you can have pointer or reference um, i think in the case of pointer this is syntax and you can also have overloaded version of print function in both cases uh, and this uh, invocation will i mean this particular invocation will uh, display the polymorphic behavior based on which uh, object is passed to this pointer, right? In the case of uh, here, let me have um, reference. And uh, instead of uh, passing like this, I could do, I could call that function print uh, aptr. And also, if you want to invoke this reference version, then you can do something like this. Uh, de reference version of that pointer. Similarly, uh, we can do the same thing here uh, in the next case. Right, so let us see the output here. In both cases, either this pointer or reference, uh, you know, this uh, this aptr will be referring to the different dynamic object. So the behavior of this invocation. should display uh, should be different and we can we can call that as a polymorphic behavior uh, back to the terminal non pointer in the constant animal i think let me go back to the core It was in here. Yeah, this is not a syntax for I mean, calling that function. You have to do something like this. Okay, so so we have. You can see um, this was. Um, uh, behavior of the sound function of the animal class, anim animal dynamic object. Uh, this was the behavior of the uh, sound function of the dog dynamic object and the cat dynamic object. And um, these two lines are uh, the result of the uh, invocation of one version and another version of the print function. So this is all I have uh, to talk about uh, this uh, virtual function and polymorphic behavior.